not I modern day. What Aegon and Marcus were fighting for top bunk. I love that movie. In a just like I, a great I, big bushy beard. Listen up, Understood. At this time. At this time. You would have spent much of the very early morning on board of the Dauntless. You would have been greeted by the eccentric Captain Bartholomew and a ragtag <clears throat> group of people that some of you vaguely remember seeing from different parts of town or Balerno or Cassetto. Not many words would be spread or passed along as you all got on board. Two carts with two horses, packs of food and 80 silver worth of medical supplies have been brought along, along with personal lighting. Very quietly, you made your way on the ship up the channel, unseen by the robber baron's men for the course of the evening. Forty minutes later, that <clears throat> felt like years of traveling in complete darkness and silence. Does the ship finally slow at the order of the captain? You are told that you are about two miles away from Carano, and you are slowly offloaded along with the carts to the best part of the shoreline. All of you would have loaded up in the carts, taken what you can, and followed a dirt trail until you reached a main road. It is here that towards the wee hours of the morning, you made camp. After sleeping for about six or so hours, at this time it should be about one or two in the afternoon, but the sky is dark. <clears throat> it seems even heavier than when you arrived, and there is a feeling of unease, of almost nausea, that each and every last one of you will feel. The drow will find themselves feeling no longer at home in this strange darkness that does not seem to match what it is that they are used to. The Dowie will not feel at home in the dark or in control as they would in the caverns of the deep as something here is very wrong. And everyone else will feel just as oppressed with the darkness feeling like it is cupping its hands over your every step. It is here you will all wake up feeling uneasy, putting on your armor, getting ready for the day. <clears throat> and your cards are now up. Sleep? Is everyone here? Barely. It's fighting. Okay. Is there a storm coming in? It's like the sun in the sky. It's no, no seem like in sight. It. Twelve, we're all accounted for. That's good. Good. Um very good. Get some rations in here. We're gonna get moving shortly. Maybe it's going to rain or something of the sort. Hey, are you, uh... It'll just be our luck. Yeah. Okay. Uh... That's not just me. Yeah. Uh, up I was worried my eye was all bad, but I see it. I just don't see it. I thought I was getting tired. Thank you. Yeah. Stop staring out into whatever it is you see and get some food on you before we get going. We can't see. That's the issue. It's hot. There you go. Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. The blue river. It's, what do you mean? You it's just it's dark. Dark. I can't survive on hard tack, so. Are you... it's I appreciate that. I wasn't looking forward to hard tack. Like fabric. Are you uh, are. Sure of this? I I checked I with them. I can't see shit. 
I can I can see the outline of the trees. I'm a bit totally right there. being blind, That's but it. the rest. <clears throat> she her eyes should be fine by now. Right? Oh. Yeah. I, I can see with both eyes, I just can't see. I'm not sure what to make of that. I don't understand. It's certainly yeah, step not out a for a second. thought. It's just... Sure, I feel I'm, most... it, I'm not exactly feeling very comfortable myself. I mean, I'm still kind of waking up, so it's a bit... Get some food in your belly. I'm going to get the carts ready. We have a long oh, day. I don't even see Sarah anymore. Mm. Mm. Thanks. Uh... As you all stand here in the camp... Play this is the first time since arriving in this on land, the north of Nordis province. <clears throat> it's quiet. You don't hear a peep. This isn't like the deep bronze look. This is the something else. The singing of birds. Things are eerily, oddly quiet. I have my own food. <laughs> we'll make it through, Morden. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Thanks. We've been through far streets of notice when it is dark out, but this feels much different. I but the worst that we've been through. The last time I recall anything like this was I don't know any of this. Nothing like this. Hmm. Last time we last time I seen darkness like this was with Richard. But did it feel like this too? Is this what you guys see normally? It's more than sight. It's more than hearing. This is feels a bit darker, to be honest. It's terrifying. Like construction. Do you remember mostly? I've got shivers. Does that count? Yes. I could barely sleep. I kept having reoccurring nightmares. We can't see well under the water. Aegon. Even at night. Yeah. Negates a vision. Like it's the air almost feels like we're in water. There's something if you breathe, ahead. I'm sure of that already, but <coughs> you know, once in a while the clouds move. I can see blue sky, but it is so dark. Yes, thank you. It is not the smoke; it is oh. moisture. I only see grey. This isn't natural. Do sleep well. The end of dark is moist, but this is different. However. Like I said to him, the only time I've ever seen darkness was like this was when, with uh, Richard. We're definitely close to Coral now, if everything we heard is true. With his face, you couldn't see into it, it was too dark. I'm glad to hear that, I have no clue. The trees. Oh. I don't know why they call it that, but they're talking about the creatures. About the challenges ahead. He's a dead spy itself. Oh, He's yeah. absolutely yeah. so. Well, they can't be. Perhaps speaking ill of such things. Caused them to pursue him. It was. Whatever it is, the facts are. We can be very careful what you name. The torches help. But fuck. I'm just relying heavily on this. I'm just glad that I'm here. Maybe it will break once we get out of the forest. Maybe it's just Twice the climate. I don't that know. That whatever is here happened in Nordis, or almost did. Mm -hmm. There is tall grass at the none of the wood folk are with us, so, so we may ask travel. them for advice. Without, without being seen. Everyone, come hither. Let me your ears. You don't let the others see. <laughs> there is something unnatural about these woods. I don't know what it is. Our drow companions cannot see in the dark. There is something strange here. We will stay close. We will not wander away from each other. We will cover each other's backs. We have one solid objective <coughs> to us by the Baron. We either make contact with Baron Gelded. He is a Baron that was sent here by the Council that holds Corano. If the town is as bad as they say, they will be held up in the keep. That is our first direction. Our true priority here is to find the artifact that is causing what has ever happened here. Mr. Tang, 
knows how to take care of it. We have to get him to it, wherever it is. The only information we have is that it was a merchant, a woman, that had gotten some sort of artifact from a mercenary run into a Murgadrat. It is a big business in Gravia. Why they were here, I do not know. This artifact was stolen by petty thieves. They knew not what they stole. The woman tried to get the guards to, to take action, but apparently wasn't considered as urgent as she wanted them to. According to the noble woman that came here, time passed and she abandoned trying to get it back. And now we are where we are. We're going in blind. So we stay with each other. If we find any light sources in the city, we can light them. So we we'll least know where we're going <clears throat> and know where we have been. We'll be sparing with it as not to attract attention. But these things, whatever they are, we have limited experience. We have no idea how they think, feel, operate. Be ready for anything. Hey. Get the rest of your food in you. Make sure you all have one potion or something on you. The rest will be carried. Place <clears throat> Protect him. If he dies, you die. He is our only true healer. When you're done eating, load up at the carts. I'm alone. Do you think anyone will complain if I carry some healing supplies on me as well for emergencies? If somebody else runs out, and we can't get them to time. We should have plenty of healing stuff from um, Venora. Yes. Uh, Bandage and basic healing. I'm just trying to figure out our numbers. All right. Just along with the maybe healing potions, the best, and everything else. It's unnatural. And we need to be gone. Once time oh, no. boxes is it needs to be gone. I have no idea. I really don't. Lady Omri. Yes. You will, I would like you to be with myself, Sir Broker, the entire time. If you look, walking towards the Good course. We'll be traveling in this cart. It's strange, Morty. If things clear up on the way further in, you'll return to your scouting priorities. If it does not, you stay with the group. I'm not risking you. Not in that blackness. Yeah, don't you tell me twice. Good. The lady and I will take the front of the car. I'll be in the back. Despite not being terribly far inland. I'll take the reins at the second. There is no Very good to be found. Here. Not this side, or that side. As though it has all fled. I got it. We're Sir Broker. I would like him to have make sure that card is stable. I don't want a wheel coming off or something attacking us in a way. And potentially ruining our carts. Keep yourselves together as best you can. Stick to oh, what you can. With you. Okay, you. Always have a body in front of you. Same as the tunnel. Or at least I'll get off. Yeah. Remember what I told you down there, right? Can't lose the horse. Not a chance. Don't lose sight of the man in front. Yeah, gonna be a little harder this time. Okay. I believe you're with their cart, Marcus. Fair enough. I I can drive. Try not to get touched by these things. Arm does not blink. Yeah. So I don't want to use a quick dismount in the back. Yes. Oh. You both have to promise to bring those back to me. Yes. So I guess you're not allowed to die. If you come across anybody who seems to have some kind of black it's all right, man. Going I got before you. Skin, what do you best to avoid attacks from them and keep distance? I want to ask the two of you for help, Dale. 
could mm. more confident with you know the murder. Ah, Sam. You doing all right? These things. No. I have some jars. Okay. Hmm. If we can get one killed. Is there anything I could do to brighten your day? Brighten the darkness. 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 Brighten very well. Be set down first. I'd rather be closer to the ground so they can dismount. Very soon, I'm probably going to need to know what we have, what we have medical-wise in the cart. I need to keep up with it. Something's not right. Oh sure. Also. There's a great deal of medical. Available. Aside from the obvious. Mm. Well, that's better than nothing, sir. Stick close to me, okay? Yeah. Yes, cart's loaded. <clears throat> Actually, Soma. You have an advance. Yes. Advance from me. Plus a strong. Take your time to look through the inside of the cart. There's 80 silver worth of healing goods that I've gotten from the apothecary. And if it all goes out, Lord Earhart. <laughs> Eyes. As you glance forward yeah. down the road, I'd hope it seems so. to almost bid you God. forward. <clears throat> the trees that line the boulevard leading to Corano seem to bend inwards invitingly as they sway with the breeze of the dread wind. Everyone on board? Ready. Everyone that can be. Yes, Lord. To, to Carano, then. Just in case you go. Natural forest than Please. natural Do as I say. Don't talk like that. Start counting if you wish, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I slowly but surely you all begin to press I on. Forgive me, pain. You begin to hear sounds to the wind, but then they begin to sound like voices as your light illuminates person off to your right as you hear mumblings from him. Like me to check. Um, someone on the road. Yes. All of you, stay with the cart. Sure. Oh no, let them take a look at that. I'm gonna look around here and see how much that we've actually got. And I'll try and see exactly what we have. If possible. I don't know if I need to message someone about it or not. Is he not responding to you? Try to talk to him. Hello? Awful, awful disgusting people. So I must speak to one of the DMs. Got it. Sir. Uh, <clears throat> he seems to acknowledge it doesn't you. work too well. Sir. What Just noise? Keep your eyes fixated on that side. Hand on your plate. As you listen to the inane ramblings of the roadside vagabond, he speaks of an insatiable hunger and a violation of the will of the goddess Zara. As she has abandoned these lands 
the zoo of the sin that is taken I'll have no part of it and spread its rot You feel a grab behind you as he grabs your arm before you leave. Leave this what? place. There is no God here. Only darkness. Well, you're right. What do you want me to do? Leave him? There's nothing we can do. Unless they're coming back to the city. Are they injured? I don't Only know. in the mind, okay. it seems. Uh, they hunger and hunger oh, and grow and the numbers multiply. Indeed. Go and go and eat. <coughs> no. I don't understand what he's saying. He's talking about some type of forsaken god. Apparently, there's rot in these lands. A whole lot of them. Whatever's affecting the world is affecting him as well, it seems. Should we leave him a gas burner at least? If you feel the need, we have plenty. In the distance, you would all hear a f female scream echo off the rocks from ahead of you, from far off in the distance. What the? What was that? Uh, We're moving. No time. Right. Oh. I, it's the safety. I heard that shit too. He told me to leave. Likely why. If I had to wager, I guess, seems he's seen some things that will never make his mind quite right. Death and carnage can do that to a soul. Seen it in front of soldiers. What see you in their side? They scream like that. <coughs> oh, God. I do. And the terrified oh, shit. As you Need roll up the Comforting road, thoughts. Lord Earhart, or Lena, you can see numbers of Radad soldiers, patrols marked by the yellow of their expeditionary uniforms. They are covered in black Indeed. blood. You can see that parts of their armor, their chain has been torn asunder. Rivets of loose bits of metal lie in the road. And you can see gashes and wounds. Some of them have been dismembered. It is a grisly sight. Despite this worry, the woods are still. Oh, jeez. Say we're going in the right direction. Claim uh, God, Joe. The smell of death reaches your nostrils God. as you ride over the corpses. Now we know why that expeditionary think, um, unit never came back. They were mutilated. If they're mutilated, right? You know, we need to be careful. <clears throat> Anything could be happening in, the, in these trees. Towers in the distance to our right. We're close. Yes. That makes to the right. Attraction we have with the horse and the wagon, or whatever's clearly tearing them apart. As you grow closer, you can see the fields are empty. It was once full of farmers and huntsmen and peasants and serfs are now desolate. The walls are in the distance, but there is not <coughs> livestock, nor any animals to speak of. It is quiet. It is deathly quiet. How in the fuck did any of those few survivors get near the infirmary? Well, we do not How did any of them get to notice? We don't know what the situation is here. If 
Thumbs down on names, there's a chance. No. Nobody's alive or mad. The fate of others is fate of the fate of I have a feeling I'm gonna need to grab everything from this cot before we even head one step in there. Creaking. A listless creaking can be heard from either side. Windmills turning aimlessly. As if they were headless. Unchecked. Unmaintained. The one on the right sounds like it's on the verge of breaking. Shh. Yeah. I can hear the mill grinding. Oh. Keep yourself worried. No people, I understand. Worried, but usually when there are no people, you get more animals, but I don't even hear animals. I see. I don't... Slow toward the but and as you look to grab light, you can see oh, there are fields of wheat ready dismount to now everyone dismount however there are intended <laughs> dismount order is given to dismount eyes in all directions Hi. Right. fuck Kyla get up here Sarah get up here I'm sure you can see what I can see in the distance. Yeah. You may not be able to see well in the dark, you're still the quietest out of us all. See what the condition is of the front gate. I want weapons out there ready. Careful. Sarah. Want me to grab everything Let's stick to the grass. Carry as much as you can, Sergeant. <sighs> Two of you sneak forward out of sight, out of mind. You blend in with the shadows. Jumping from hedge to hedge, Kyler, you peek around and what you see before you is nothing short of a massacre. Radad men lying on the ground, marred with the self same wounds that you saw of the men that you rode over on the road to Corano. Black blood stains the road. And the entire place is in disarray. Carts, wagons have been torn asunder. It looks of a failed evacuation, perhaps. Seravith, as you rest beside the <coughs> wheat field, you smell something. The ground has a little give to it, and as you reach down towards a stray stalk, you see that even the wheat is infected with a rot. That's not good. The smell Rotting. of a mold fills your nostrils, but it is overpowered as you get closer to the scene of the smell of death. Kyler, it is wretched. It overpowers your senses, and for a moment, you need to take a second to recover. He's gonna pull the bottom of his scarf up. Around you look the, over the, the hedge. You do so. As you look over the hedge to see their faces, you see that there's little resembling who they once were. Their faces have been clawed so heavily and mauled 
they can hardly be said to resemble humans any longer. Above you, battlements and crenellations that were once manned surely in the hundreds stand empty and desolate. It's gonna try and look at the gate to see what condition it's in. Say again? He's looking at the gate to see what condition it's in. <clears throat> Understood. As you reach it, you can see that the portcullis is closed. The chains clack against the walls with the wind. They hang limply from above. Fuck. You can see that this portcullis will not be able to be opened by its gear works. We'll need to find another way to raise it. Let's head back. I hate this. As you shift along the hedge once again back to your party, a breeze catches up and blows the scent of death towards the wagons, and then retreats back as if Corano itself is inhaling, no beckoning you in. No sound, just the wind carrying on. Your best guess. Whatever chill that's been following you all as you all look forward once more to the dark clouded walls in front of you talk to me a lot of dead bodies it looks like a failed evacuation portcullis is closed but it looks like it's busted to all repair we won't be able to open it with the mechanism i don't know if there's another way around but fuck yeah unlikely Push up, see what we can make of it together. Did it look clear? Aside from the bodies, yeah. Alright, listen up. Hi. We're gonna have to leave the carts here. There's nothing we can do about it. Hope that they're in one piece when we return. We have all our supplies with us, so must carrying them. From this point <clears throat> forward, weapons at the ready. We're approaching the main gate. Let's go. Understood. Sure. Getting closer. Getting closer. You're able to see through the dim afternoon light a bit more detail in the walls. Strangely enough, they are in impeccable condition, thoroughly refined down to a flat surface as sheer as a face, a face of a cliff. Scaling these in any capacity is almost certainly going to fail. As all of you step forward, you see what appears to be the remains of a last stand. Where Dodd's Instinct soldiers lay on the ground, their black blood reeking of the smell of, of death filling your nostrils. But no, ahead, crenellations and battlements that certainly once housed hundreds of soldiers anything. that would watch over the gatehouse sort of stand there desolate, edge, you realize you are. empty. But what dark it's a miracle, these walls are still see. Again, it's a miracle that any of them got to tell us. You can all see above the portcullis two chains that were previously used to lift it clack against the stone listlessly with the wind. 
The chains were cut. There's no way we're getting through here. Is there any way to fix it from here? I don't think I so. It. Eyes left That's and right, question. and behind us. Time is a question with Pete. Hi. Do you remember what you did in Ledford? When the portacullis was broken? Yes. For those of you who are not aiding, form a perimeter. The chains are broken. See if you can lift it. I'll do what I can. Shouldn't be that much. If you see resistance. any movement, call out. With the broken I don't want to chains, get surprised no, by whatever's shouldn't. out here. Well, just in case I can't keep this held up. Aegon, Brooker, mm -hmm. I want you up front. You're the first two in. Hands. I'm gonna be right behind you. I guess the underdog well. to get the portacolor stick in the center. You slowly start to me, pull up. At first, it <clears throat> resists the heavy weight a lot, even for your body. The various gears and springs within you almost screaming the noises your body's <clears throat> body making. Unusual even to your friends under the immense weight. Oh my god. But slowly, slowly, you start to lift it above your head, inch by inch. Shit. It braces against you. <laughs> the whole weight coming down heavy, and you barely manage to hold Move. it. Let's go! Move! Move! Now! Your, your body is struggling and shaking. Not made of muscle, but of spring. Hold. Come on, quick! You Tell me you soon as soon as everything is out. Arm. Start to shake. You're good! You're good! You're good! You hear it start to scream, and as you release the gate, it comes down with a heavy thud. <laughs> You're right on. Oh, that's one way to try to get ourselves back in and oh, step on You all step through. You all look around to nothing but corpses and dried blood laid about before you all. The smell of death permeating through all your noses is almost suffocating in this space. See the spies of the keep behind that gate. That's our goal. Do not get distracted. Stay together. No one stay in the middle. The gate closed yeah, behind you. Doing. The winds blow yeah. forward, inviting you further in to this capital of death. There's some lanterns here. It's quiet. What well, was usually a bustling city larger than not The neck has been ripped open and the head Silent hangs so by mere bit of flesh. I don't think Tank could do that again. I'm going to have to try and hail the gate. There might be survivors. Rather. Like it was. <clears throat> 360. Everyone, perimeter, now. Hail to the gate guard! I want two people on Relief! Here. Relief from Nordish! Lord Erhard, your words echo off of the stone bouncing through the town. You hear it. Behind you, even. But your words, your call, receives no answer. There will be no reply for you this day, not from the living. Mind if I scout a bit? Need a knock on the gate. If you're going to scout, I should advise you. Listen. We don't see a way forward. Both the portacollis and the gate is sealed. Spread out, search the area. Do not leave this area. Find anything. A key, a, a, a vantage point, something. Now. Stairs. On that Get to the rooftops. Alright, my lord. God, the one said he saw movement down that street. Then take a look, Fane. Rolling, Tyler.
Tyler, as you and Seraphith make your way up this staircase, you can see Ivy leading up the wall, crawling up it. All you would need to do is climb. You may be able to find a way into the gatehouse. <sighs> Pull it on now. We could make this very easy on them. We could. I know he's going to say no. Oh, no. Yes. We found some vines climbing up the wall there. We might be able to get our way into the gatehouse and open it. Damn good. Still would need a key, though. I doubt this has been left unlocked. We have a way in. Now we just need the item. I try my picks. Good. They're notoriously I'm difficult. Not against though. it, but we can find a key that would help. I don't want to break them before we get too Let's far. Let's give it a once over first. Right. If that fails, then we'll go with the pick. Do you want us going into buildings as well? Yes. Carefully in fucking right. pairs. Doorway there. There is a door up there. Let's do it. Do you want to go in from the top or the front? <sighs> Dealer's choice. He's gonna press on it. <clears throat> Anything As else? you press against the door, it creaks a bit, rather the wood does. It is damaged, but it is still sturdy. You two are likely not able to break this down. However, there is a visible handle with keyhole. Have a look. I think it's locked. Is it? Maybe. Gonna try the handle. The handle jiggles a bit. It's all a little loose. This is a good sign. But it doesn't turn on its own. It is locked. <sighs> Let me give it a shot. Rolling. With a five plus two for a seven, this door seems relatively simplistic. Part of the lock was already loose, likely from the damage the door has sustained, and it pops open relatively easily. DC was five. Ready? Entering into the building, you are met with a thick, pungent smell of rot. It assails your senses as you look about the room. Bodies litter the area. The walls and flooring are damaged. The couches and beds have been ripped apart. Blood stains the room and the walls. Check the bodies. Rolling. With a 14, as you slowly go through each of the bodies, you notice that their injuries are... Well... They remind you of people who were assaulted by an animal. Chunks of flesh have been ripped out Almost like with teeth. One man, uh, one unfortunate soul's jaw looks as though it has been ripped off. Just 
just villages. It's right downstairs. Quietly, you step down. Your feet making almost no noise. Stairs made of stone do not creak, thankfully, but the floorboards on this second landing do. And for a moment, you think you hear something. But then there is silence. The man at the bottom of the stairs, his body looks broken. His arms and legs twisted in strange angles, his head caved in the side, blood splat against the wall behind him. You suspect this man died not from any assault or blade or claw, but simply falling down the stairs. You can test this door and see if it's locked. This door is visibly locked. However, you are on the inside. Sarah. Both doors were locked. There's no sign of forced entry. What do you think? don't know. They didn't fight each other. Do you think sickness then? They've clearly been ripped to shreds by no, some injuries. No. I don't get why both doors right. would be locked though. <sighs> Unless... The people back here tell a different story. Their bodies are not savage. Their throats are slit, with each of them a knife beside their corpse. Rolling insight. With an 18 and a 17, it's not hard to tell. They were the last survivors holed up in this place. Hmm. And they likely ran out of hope. That answers that, I suppose. chest opens. There is rotten food within. Two flies, the only other sign of life at last. Do you realize there's likely nothing else for you to find here? I don't think this is a tavern. I don't think it would be. Agreed. Mm. Back out the top. I could find another building to search. Good. Yeah. We can probably go at the front, if you unlocked it. Uh, I'll give it a shot. I mean, if you don't want to waste the pick, I get it. <clears throat> well, they only get wasted if I force too hard and snap them. Mm. Should be okay. It's the strangest thing, Kyler. When you go to pick the lock, you notice that several of the pins are broken. 
There's only one still intact. That's... And it simply requires lifting. Someone tried to get in. Oh, that's fucked. Let's get out of here. I don't like that everyone is now gone. I see movement. Outside if they want to. It is probably advisable to yeah, not disturb anything. Kyler, as your eyes scan the environment, near the gateway that you came through, Sarah. there seems to be a... Kyler, as you stand here in the street, you look up towards Sabruka and company, heading down, looking to speak with you. Longbeard found a scalable wall. Yeah, I brought it up I think with, we uh, could get you and Sarah up there. Brought it with Arn, that's our way in, we just need to find a key first. We can open it from the other side. If, if you need rope, I have it. I'll let you know. We need to find the key first. If you want a shortcut, there's a way up along these stairs. Yeah, we've checked this building. It's an inn. Didn't look like there's anyone in there. Or anything in there. Mm. Kyler. As your eyes glance around, as you look toward the main gate that you came through to enter this place, your eyes spy on the right side, the tower, a gateway. It reminds you of the one in Adwick. It likely leads further up. It's a long shot, but... If anyone was up there... That had access to the gates... The key yes. you're looking for might be found there. You guys check that tower yet? Which one? No. I'll have a look. No, couldn't find a way in. There's a door. The vines. I think if anyone can do it, it'll be yourself and Sarah, yeah. along with Torty, perhaps. We told on the issue is that... You can jump from the stairs if need be. Yeah, the issue is that we need the key once we get in there, otherwise it's going to be a struggle. I'm going to give this a check. I'll have to check the... As you walk up and get closer and closer to the door, you reach for the handle, and it's go to pull, but it's sealed shut completely, as if a, there's a mass amount of weight behind the door, completely unmoving. <clears throat> sealed shut. Bugger. I don't want to make too much noise. Yeah, don't risk it. There might be another way in. Maybe there's another way up. No. Yeah. If you find a way up, I can just maybe lift you. <laughs> Something. Oh. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> this has potential. Oh, you mean this one? Guaranteed it would be locked, but maybe. See if we can work your magic. Searching the body. You 
you find a small pouch, slightly torn on the side. Inside, you find three copper pieces. One of them is coated on one half with dried blood. All right, let's see what I can do. John, what can we... Rolling. With a 9 plus 2 for an 11, the door gives way easily. Several of the bars are bent as though some heavy force hit them repeatedly. He's got that door open. Good job. We're checking up here. We're hoping to get into that tower. Yeah. Hurry up. Three of you go. Our goal is the noble district. We have to make contact with the Baron Gladar. Whatever garrison is left, we're gonna need their help. You brush past the bodies the torn the apart. Their bone has been rendered from flesh. And Sir Brooker, with your size, a bit of clumsiness, you knock one of the bodies over and he clangs to the ground. As you go to test the lock, you realize where the keyhole is, the wood has been splintered inward. It is not holding this door closed or locked in any capacity. This can just open. Below, inside the tower, you will see a mound of bodies piled below you. The lower stair is inaccessible, but the winding stair does lead up to the top. At least I can actually fucking see. Okay. Torch, rather thick. We need. The tower is lit, and a single body is found. He is not horribly mutilated like the others, but his body is covered in injuries. He looks as though he eventually died from blood loss. Feeling around, we need to find you notice that this man carries no weapon, but tethered to the side of his belt is a keychain, and on it, two items. One is a broken key. The important aspect snapped off, lost to who knows where, but the other one, the other one is large and dark metal. Looks like a crudely made iron, but it looks the sort to you, to your trained smith's eye. That looks interesting. Looks good enough for me. That's the way that um, Tazim described it. So. Sure. Alright, I'm back down to the others. Um, Stumpy sort of. I'll check up here.
cards to look okay. God, for fuck's sake. <sighs> if it's not the fucking internet, it's fucking VR chat. I s- ah, it's fucking- <laughs> It really needs to be a preset for that. <laughs> I'll grab Climal when the DMs tell me to grab Climal. I don't want to accidentally go into the NPC room while they're doing something. Pretty sure you can get any avatar. Yeah, but then I have to do it to like all fucking four of my avatars and it just... Uh, unity. <laughs> I'm going to rip my penis off. So you start doing it, you, it's like addicting. Oh, there he is. For, oh, there you are. I uh, assess the vines. Oh yeah? Okay, goodbye. Sorry, I didn't know where I was supposed to be. The gas yes, you came with us. Yeah, fine. Um, I assess the vines, it's going to be quite an easy climb as long as we don't fuck anything up. Torti's gonna maybe stay down here to spot us unless she goes and joins the others. Right. I'll spot you. I, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. We'll move we'll over do this there. one at a time or together. I'll go first in case it's loose. Right. Okay. God, I wish I had fucking um. What's it called? <laughs> oh, oh God. The Grab, like, past the vines, so you don't fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me know when. It seems sturdy enough. <clears throat> Alright, I'm coming up. Yep. Handful <sighs> by handful, Kylo, you're able to scale the walls, pulling on the ivy taut to lift yourself until finally you are on top of the walls. Below you, you see Cerevis gradually making her way up, pulling on the self-same branches you did. And a glance to the left confirmed your suspicions. An iron grated door that seems to lead into the gatehouse. It has a familiar looking lock. 
people. There's Take people moving down there. Oh, there is blue. Huh. There you go. There you go. Can we go back? Oh shit. Let's get this fucking thing open. I don't think we should the trust The two you see standing in the street, a citizen of Corano, minding their own business, just standing in the street. They didn't respond the bones below when they were all the bones above. Yeah? Just making sure they made it. They did. Go on. She's gonna try and give him a look and see if she can see any injuries from here. He does not seem to notice you. Rolling service. The two, it's the twilight that is blanketing over Corano, over this part of the province, seems to obscure even your brow vision. At a distance, your eyes strain and hurt. Do not make not up right, the details I... this far away. I can't see anything. Maybe he just can't hear us, or he's asleep. Let's just avoid him watch. until we know. Smoke? Okay. Looks like it, yeah. We, but we should hurry up. There's a fire. Right. Let's move in. <clears throat> Careful of the wood. He's a steep. <laughs> I would have killed Joe there. <sighs> I would have killed Joe there. This probably opens the gate. My own architecture. No, I'm looking for weaknesses. Hmm. Mind a renovate. <laughs> no. Tyler, as you reach falls. for the switch, all it takes is one loose brick and things start tumbling. As you pull the lever, the hand, as you pull the lever and you take their hand off, it will fall quickly down at their side, lifeless and dead. The thud. Bringing up the mechanism. Poor girl is first. Considering that there was a door and a portcullis, you probably need to use both. Before you do that, just wait. You see that this door is locked. It can only actually be opened with the key. There's no handle whichever key it is, but it looks like the one you have. I'm starting to get worried. <sighs> yeah, they check. Um, what if it's loud? It Too be. loud. We're gonna have to open it sometime. It's better to have them both. In. Come see this yeah. really quick. As all of oh, you sure. stand here. There's a tenseness in the air. As the other He's still the just standing he there. He has not fucking moved. Unmoving. He hasn't moved a single fucking inch. No word from either of the drow. Wait, 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 wait. They could have become aware of their fate. There's no doubt. Gonna be getting worried. Lord Earhart 
It approaches the wall and just it's Thought, no emotion, just okay. movement, just a dead I know that I'm much worried. Okay, okay. We're gonna have to just be ready. Yeah. Three, two, one. Get ready. Oh. oh. <laughs> Slam. Go on the left. Fuck. Slamming oh, against the metal of the door, oh, arms reaching that's... through, <laughs> eyes locked on you. Stand down. Final warning. Roll it. Sir Brooker, standing there. Kyler, with the three, as you reach your arm out, you see it try to reach for your hand. It grabs one of the loose parts of leather and pulls you toward the door. Straight away. Slamming you against it as your sword goes through. It falls dead. And then just sprint and... We need to get the door open now. Are you alright? Did he scratch you? I'm fine. We have to behead it though. There's a button here to open right. the door and it's not here. Let's jump off the top. Oh. Shit. You <laughs> know shit. Stick together! <laughs> Start taking shots, sir. Yep. Locked and loaded from the roof. Did you Getting see shot. it? Yeah, Pocalus is closed. Get together, we're advancing. Understood. If there's anything like the ones that Fake ran into, we have to behead them when they're done. Or burn them. These ones went down. Good. One of them grabbed my arm. It's okay, though. They have got 30 steel bolts, and I have 25 iron bolts. That's it. No more, no less. Good. I think there's more. Main keep is pluming spoke. With a 12 plus your armor. Thankfully, you don't see anything on you. You're fine, Steve. Take it up. Oh, God. It's burning. Either that or it's the aftermath of burning. <sighs> but if there's fire, that means there's life. Listen. Right. Hopefully. Stay together. I want my most armored in front, lightly armored in the rear. Keep the healers safe. Move. So much, you're in between all of us. Stay in the middle. Understood. Keep an eye on the dead. Watch the rooftops too. Audible left. Left side, Orlando. A roar of rocks, Orlando. It runs like towards you, gripping, small flames. As it is brought down, the combination of your efforts, Kyler and Olena, it twitches on the ground continually, even as you move on. Momentum, momentum, keep moving! Hang on, come on. Go, go, go. Let's keep moving! Sir Brooker, take point, advance! Come on, someone Roof, left! Got it, got it. Sarah, oh. drop that fucker. Oh, fuck me. 
It's just like the caverns. They can come in from any corner. Got it, got it! Drop them and then push. What about left thing? Left side. Left. Left, left, left! They fall, but they do not stop moving, scratching at your very feet and your very heart. Roof above! Roof above. Tang above! Left side, rooftop! I know. With a Don't worry two, about that. let Sarah take they care will... of it. I need fighters up front, damn it! I've got With a two, they will leap Five. off of the on tang. They, they will land directly Five. on Five. your back as they leap off of the other Five. roof. <laughs> Great. <laughs> as you throw Keep them, moving. they crumple against the tree. <sighs> Yes, yeah, we've been over this push instead of talking so much saying push. <laughs> left. Left. To the left. Don't give them a chance to get up. With you, Elena. Keep pushing. Keep to the right. it. As you approach the portcullis, you'll see this must be the entrance to the keep. We have the hail the <laughs> Move. Come on, all of you. Turn around. Hold Get the back into the keep of the Assistance from Notice, a relief force! Open the portal college! The right side. As he screams, oh, there it. As he screams for the keep to call, to hail them, there is not a single sound, a single voice, a whisper, nothing. It is as oh. silent as the grave. Something then, like this. You realize. Without that, there's no way in. Gone. But, as they came. Arnulf, you think you might have seen a failed barricade back the way you came? Maybe you could get over the wall with that. Sarah, Kyla, Tordy, go back yeah. the way we came to the destroyed barricade, wrap around the castle, look for another way in. We'll hold them here. Go now, before Tordy, you get Sarah. Stuck with us. Go right. now. I on me, on me. Yep, yep. On me. Lead the way. <sighs> One to the two to the right. Drop those fuckers, Sarah. Torty, do you think? What's my thing? Oh, yeah, okay. I can do that.
clear. Not oh, too ahead. Tyler, Tordy, as you move forward, Sarabeth stealthily drops one of them after another with the quick use of a crossbow. But as you continue moving forward, they get a little denser to your right. You see one ambling towards you, and then it breaks into a sprint. It charges. Going. Everyone good? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what are we Barricade. looking for? Halcyo. Oh. Maybe it's connected. Okay. As you both all come over looking around, looking to the doors and buildings, you notice something that catches your all your eyes easily as day. You see the, the vines to that wall sticking out and climbing, clear as day. Oh. More vines. Uh, this is it. Should we go first? Right. Yeah, I've been to the okay. Can I climb these? As you reach for the branches, yeah. you hear movement. I can to climb left. the other one. So, uh, stand by. You can climb this one. Oh, okay. Cool. These aren't the racist ones. Got that. I'm gonna drop a rope. Should help you guys get up quicker. Okay. Rolling, Kyler. Tyler, as you reach one hand after another, planting your feet in what you can only assume are the cracks of the bricks, Drawing on the ivy, slowly scale the wall. But as you reach for another branch, it goes loose. It cracks. It falls to the ground, and you almost slip. But you find it.